Okay, so I've recorded this uh, video before, uh, but the screen didn't share correctly. So uh, I will go ahead and uh, explain it, uh, but uh, not write it again. Uh, and the question says to sketch the region of integration and define the solid um, represented by this integral on top. Uh, of course, the bounds, these represent uh, the outer bound, uh, the one on the outside for x. x is in between 0 and 1, and the inner bounds are for the y, since y happens to be uh, on the inside. Uh, so, um, uh, I'll just use a highlighter just to uh, show things as I'm going through it. Uh, so, um, See here, color will use. Let's use that red color. Okay, so uh, so the y uh, bounds are these here, uh, one from zero to one minus x, and the outer bounds are zero to one. Uh, so if I draw these, uh, y equals one minus x is uh, this line right here, uh, and um, uh, zero to one on the x-axis, and um, uh, it, the, the surface z equals 1 minus x minus y. If I let um, um, x and y be 0, I get 1 for z. If I let x and z be 0, I get 1 for y. And if I let um, uh, z and y be 0, I get 1 for x. So, And then in three dimensions, the shape looks like this. It has the green uh, uh, region d right here. Let me undo this. doesn't look very good. Um, and this region D that I sketched on the left is the base of the uh, uh, surface that uh, we are integrating. The, of course, the, the reason I know the surface is because Z is always inside the integrand. So Z is 1 minus X minus Y. So this solid, as you can see, is just a tetrahedron. Um, that has vertices of 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 1, uh, uh, and uh, 0, 0, 1. And uh, the uh, region D, which is the surface area bounded by the plane x, y, is the one shown on the left. And uh, that does it for this question. Please don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe.